Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today we're going to be playing with the Woodland embossing folder. One of my team member friends, Stephanie, sent me this picture today. Oops. Here we go. So you can see the picture she sent me. The trees are, the cars are in the back of the thing. And she said, uh, so this card on Facebook, how they get the card behind the trees. Well, you know me that I absolutely love a good challenge. So I practice on this and it worked. And I'm going to show you two different ways that we can uh, do this. So first thing you want, it's your embossing folder, the wood grain. Wood, uh, not the wood grain, but uh, woodland embossing folder. Where it shows Sizzik. We're going to open that. So that's here. It's flat. The trees are in then. And here the trees are raised up. So we want the side that it's a Sizzik there. We're going to use Memento ink. And we're going to use the car in um, Guy's Greeting. I think that's what it's called. Yes, Guy's Greeting. We're going to take this. And we're going to do... I'm going to do two cars. So then you're going to see both ways. I mean, one car, two car. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to stamp one. Oh, I'm going to have this one a little bit higher. Stamp there. And I'm going to have this one lower here. Okay, so now we got our card. Right away, you're going to take your piece of white cardstock that I cut four by five and a quarter or close to that. Some of them I cut a little bit smaller to have a different mount in the back. Now, what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to emboss that. And if you notice, I'm at a different location to do my video. I'm in the process of moving. But the minute I saw that, I had to uh, try it. You know me, I'm just, I love challenge. Put it that way. So now, we're going to open this here. Et voila. It is transfer over there. So now, what you're going to do, it's take a rag, and I call it my inky rag, and you're going to wipe this here. So if you want to do another one, you would have to wipe that in between so you're ready to go. So I'm going to remove this. One way that i done my, uh, I'm looking for scrap paper here. If you would see my room, I mean the cabinets are in my bag. It is a little bit of a nightmare, not worse. So I'm going to use the brayer and we're going to use a smoky slate. So that is one way to do it. When you do it with the brayer, you have to be very careful not to rock your brayer. So I just put this here. Go very soft. See, I go very, very soft. Sometimes you're going to have line on the side. Don't worry about it. It's just going to give different character. So you can go a few times to have different uh, darker color. So I think this is good. And I should have stopped when I thought it was good because I wouldn't have no, uh, like now I get a little bit there and there. But I think that's perfectly fine. Another way that you can do it, I pre-done another one here. That's just one. And this time we're gonna, and even this one we're gonna add stuff, but we're gonna use, um, I don't have my dauber here. It's right here on my desk, though. We're going to use crumb cake, and we're going to do the trunk with crumb cake, just a different color. So you, you would have to sponge it with your uh, dauber. With the dauber, it's, uh, it's easier to go on the side of the branch. I mean, it's hard to control it because it's a sponge. It's not the rubber like the brayer. So with the sponge, it's a little bit uh, trickier, I think, than the brayer. But you see, you can go over back and forth. So now for the background, what we can do, it's use different color. Let's say I want to use soft sky. I would come back with my soft sky. I get a little bit of a mess here. I think I can find my soft sky. Here it is. 
we take my soft sky and add a little bit of soft sky so just say I get some of the this guy in the back so you don't have to do much it's whatever you prefer and now let's go back with the crumb cake I want to bring the trees more vivid so you can see with the dauber I get less control so it go a little bit more here and there but still you get a good background here I get that big round thing I don't like so what I would do take back my soft sky and come right here a bit so now I get this one now this one here even if I did the brayer what I done I use pure pizzazz put a little bit of pure pizzazz in the bottom You know what I think I can bring you a little bit lower so you can see better here we go and so now I get pure pizzazz and I'm gonna put a bit of grass here so the bottom gonna be pure pizzazz for the grass the car it's in the wood in the grass whatever and even if it go on the branch trunk it's okay it just get darker at the bottom now let me close a few ink pad because I can see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna make a real mess and I won't have any color that's are really color. I'm gonna have some blah. Now let's do soft sky. And again, soft sky with the gray, it's very forgiving. So you can really sponge your background. And when you use a dauber, don't go this way. Don't do twisty motion. Just go back and forth very gentle. Or back and forth like this with work too. It's just you don't want to do the twisty motion. Because then you would have a um, circle. It could look like sky maybe though. Okay, so now you can see I get pretty much a background done, maybe. And even if it's not equal, it's okay, because most of the time when you look in the sky, it's not equal. So now just to cover my blue, I can go back with my brayer. Not the blue in the background on the branch. Go back with your brayer. That's optional you don't have to do that but it's just it take a bit of the blue away so it really bring back the trees even darker another thing that i did on one i use my um gray my basic gray and you can use the writing tip here and just do your line in this i won't do it all because then you would be here too long so that's one i did in those little crease there to put it like the birch trees that it roll and you can even do that in the brown so now that I get this I like to use soft sky for my window and I like to start coloring my windows that's the first thing that I color so I'm gonna color my windows now I'm gonna use um, smoky slate do the bumper the bumper it's that gray color and you can even do the grill of the car you know right here that's the grill you could do that too and then the light so that is done I'm gonna take my uh, basic gray and do the tires the tires the reason why I like basic gray it's because my basic black I find it too dark and it's really take everything away and back in those days I think it was white walls so I keep the inside very white so I just come and do this around the tires I try to keep the center clear so it's like the white wall and each card going to look very differently just because um it depends where you put it you know if you're gonna have the trunk in the front or whatever now for the um, the blue car I use a pool party so 
I color my carpool party. There we go. And now I see the window in the back. It's not done. So, and here I go a little bit darker because just for the shading. So now I got a blue car, like a BB blue back in the days, I guess. Now for the red, I try real red and I find it very dark. So I start with rose red. That, that is not forgiving. A dark color, it's not forgiving. So just be careful when you go by the three that you try to stay lined up like where would be the barge there. So I'm going to color this. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the real red though. I'm going to show you just to give a little bit of a And this, it's a little bit of... Um, the round thing, I think. So that's going to stay. That, I think I did too much on the... Let me try to... Here we go. Try to fix it a little bit. Now... Um, I'm going to use uh, this gray here for this. You know what? i still going to do that rose red. I think the grill is going to be more in the red. Here we go. I think it's going to look better. And the cover of the light. Okay, the real red, I just did where it was dark. Add a little bit where it's already stamped darker. I just go and add a little bit to give some dimension. That is it, my friend. You see, now I get the car right in the back. Another thing that uh, I done, it's I use the greeting in that, and I just stamp uh, to a classic, and it is on my desk someplace because I've been here. It is. I just stamped that on the scrap paper here, the white, and I'm going to stamp that right here. I took my scissors and, um, to be honest, I don't know where most of my stuff is, so I just reached whatever I could that it's not away in a box yet. And I just trimmed that right at the writing, try to go kind of straight. And then I'm going to, oops, cut a V here. Oh, that's too big. Let's short this up a bit here. Here we go. And then I just pull this a bit apart there and up, just move it with my fingers. If I would have my bone folder, I would use it, but... I don't know where my bone folder is. And to be honest, it's in a box someplace. Like I said, we're in the process of moving. So, voila. This one I'm going to do it on gray. Uh, this is Smoky Slate. And the back, I still going to use Cherry Cobbler. I think because I got that card Cherry Cobbler, I think it's going to look good. So, let me find a piece of cardstock here. So that my piece of cardstock in the back is going to be four by five and a quarter. So the other one I said four by five and a quarter. It's four seven eight by um, five and one eight. So it gives me oh this one is bigger. Do I have place for? Uh, hmm. Let's try something else here. I cut a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can. Okay, I can mount that on. I think it's going to be five and one eight. Uh, I mean four and one eight. So you just depend on your layer. I do pretty much the front of the card and just play with it. I mean, depends if I did five and a quarter by four or 
perfect so now let's glue this voila and voila This is it, my friend, and see the difference, lighter or darker. I like the darker better, and then I get this one. So, again, where you have to stamp your car, or if you want different trees, whatever, you open it up. So this is it going to be upside down up, and you're going to stamp it in the bottom. You have to make sure your branch go up. This is it, my friend. So, Stephanie, thank you for sending that my way. And... um hope you all enjoyed that for all the product that you need visit my blog at frenchystamps.com thank you so much and have a great day my friends